Hey guys, here's the uh, robot arm I put together. Um, it's a kit from uh, Roboteers called RBX1. Um, and the best I can figure out is uh, this kit was, uh, the, at least the parts of it were first, the designs were came together by um, someone in Spain called uh, Andreas Holenfer. Um, I'll put a link to it. Um, but he had some really good designs where they were utilizing um, the actual 3D printed part as a gearing system. Um, so then there were some variants on top of that, like the um, BCN 3D uh, Mobi. And BCN 3D is a 3D printer engineering firm. And um, it's a good way to, uh, to sell the 3D printer to print large parts like this. Um, then there's some other variants, and uh, the Roboteers variant um, is really to help them sell their, um, their stepper motor drive. Um, for interesting projects, so it kind of gives a reason to check it out. Um, so, on the hardware side, I did a little bit what the uh, Dr. D Flow did with uh, with the stop switch and the screens, and a little bit of that. Um, there was a couple issues that I had with getting it all to work. Um, but you can kind of generally see uh, there's a stepper motor here on the outside that allows it to, the full arm to yaw back and forth. Then <coughs> this is called the shoulder mechanism. And the shoulder mechanism actually has two giant stepper motors on it um, that drive, that are belt driven to move the whole thing. It's actually pretty heavy. Um, all these parts are really heavy, um, so the double motor really helps out. The trick here is that the motors spin clockwise and counterclockwise, so you have to flip the wiring such that um, the motors don't tend to skip. A um, little subtlety whenever you go to assemble it. Um, so there's this giant shoulder mechanism here. Um, then this part is the elbow, and the stepper motor for that is, is over here. Um, these are belts, belts, belts. Um, there's another um, kind of a arm wrist action that happens here, um, but these parts didn't turn out so well. I've actually unplugged this entire portion of it because um, it's hard to set. In a lot of places here, um, nuts are used inside of 3D printed um, sections that constrain them. Um, but for this, maybe the quality of my 3D printer isn't as good. Um, I have a Flash Forge Creator Pro right over here. Um, but it just doesn't turn out that well. So this axis that would rotate like this doesn't work out that well. Um, but I still get that movement from yawing the whole thing and, um, and then the wrist movement here. Um, so moving on to the next step, um, little, uh, I guess this is called the wrist. So you go up and down and then twist it. And then there's a little servo motor that then does the last actuation. Um, let me get it centered here because it tends to fall over. Um, little subtleties on the gripper. Um, whenever I initially printed this, it was really hard to pick stuff up. But just applying a little bit of foam tape, foam grip tape here with a little, it has a little bit of friction on it, helped tremendously when it comes to picking things up. Um, so definitely a little bit of foam tape there helps out. Another weird issue here too is, is the way that these grippers are designed. Um, there's a servo motor here on the outside and I kind of put on a larger servo motor so it can grab, grab. Um, but now it makes now it makes the CG off on it so you notice that it kind of swings one way or, or the other um, so it needs some counterweight on here to balance that out kind of a bummer because then it creates the then the overall moment that the huge that the thing has to lift increases um, so you just got to be careful moving this this little wrist around um, down here below, um, I have a watt meter hooked up, and then a, a safety switch, and then the the, the circuit board for the uh, for all the stepper motor controllers was it is I think supposed to go on top, although not clearly documented. Um, with the kids, that was totally destroy that, so I actually put it underneath um, with some Kapton tape, um, so you can kind of see the uh, the mess of wires here. So the motor controller is underneath, and then here on the top, it's just the is the flat aluminum, so it's a little bit easier to use. That's a little watt meter over here, so um, so I can kind of keep tabs on what motors are are kind of cranking away, because um, you kind of can't tell which motors are doing a lot of the work when it's just sitting here. Um, the little power supply I have, and uh, comes with the Xbox controller. Um, I set it to auto boot to run the Python script to uh, to run the motors. Um, and then starting to now just work with the uh, programming to send it to different positions. Um, eventually wanted to get into uh, some computer vision stuff where it could identify what to grab and grab it. 
Um, but otherwise, it's a pretty fun project. Um, the largest piece here, um, which was this base piece, the shoulder is what it's called, I had to break into four pieces to print it on my Flash Forge Creator Pro. Um, so there was two halves here and then the base which needed to be split. And then I just used acetone to bond them together. Um, really strong bond, but um, the interface between them isn't as slick as it could be. Um, then I did a little bit of acetone vapor bath to, to, to give it a little bit of nicer for finish. Um, black is because I ran out of white material. Um, so a little bit of black here and there. Um, finding a position for the wire is a little tricky as well um, because the step motors can obviously spin continuously but the wires that they're on cannot. Um, so not really set, designs not really set up for slip rings nor what I might, might want to do that especially with the current required. Um, so something to just kind of keep an eye on whenever you're turning it around. Um, there's little tensioners for some of the, the, the belts but it always didn't work out too well, so I kind of had to use some zip tie style tensioners here um, on the Jeep to get those going. Um, yeah, so I'm going to show you some different videos of it, uh, picking things up. Um, uh, I got the boy over here, he's going to be uh, playing with it a little bit, uh, picking up blocks and a rocket. So. Go on the other side. 